And now, introducing our host, Jack Culberson. <laughs> Anyways, students, uh, people want to get educated about the goodness of life. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Ramayana. Hope I didn't butcher that. So first, before we start with the main story and the plot itself, we have to start with a good background. So, the Ramayana is uh, based in India in the 5th century BCE. So, like, you guys don't realize how long ago that was. It's crazy, right? It was composed, um, it is an epic poem, which means it's very long and has an epic hero. Our epic hero's name is Rama. He has a wife named Sita. Learn more about her later. Anyways, um, so the story itself is about his exile from the palace and his journey back to the palace. And, um, it is a basic story about politics. Um, it has demon tribes, but unfortunately I did not read that far. <laughs> I love to keep reading it. You recommend. And um, it also reveals a lot about philosophy and cultural values back then. Now let's get started on the main story. So, summary of the story. The Ramayana, it starts when we learn about Rama. He is the prince of Ayodhya. Ayodhya. It's somewhere in India a long time ago. He is a royal. And basically, his father has many wives. That is a cultural value. So he, this man is simping, straight simping. And he says to one of his wives, I'll, I'll give you two wishes and you get to choose whatever you want. And the, his wife chooses that her son, that um, Rama gets exiled so her son can become king. But so, they respect people's wishes, so Rama listens to his father, and he chooses to be exiled, unfortunately. This is where our story mainly starts. Uh, that's where it started, but... So, the part I read was about Siddha and Rama having a deep conversation. We love them. The, the, the couple goes, man. Rama, he's telling, he's telling Siddha how he's going to have to be exiled, and Siddha's like, I can't have this. What am I without you? And I'm a loyal wife. Yeah. Sorry, it's so emotional. And that she needs to come with him. Or else she would not be filling the wife's duty. And Rama's like, oh, I can't go if you can't go at first because I have to listen to my father and I must be exiled. And I don't want you on this journey because I love you so much. Siddha, she loves him so <laughs> she loves Rama, man. She loves him so much. That she she's like, I need to go. I can't be there without you. This? So at the end of the story, Rama, he finally says, you know what? I see how dedicated and loyal you are to me. Let's go. We can go to the forest for 14 years. I know 14 years is a long time, but we gonna come back. No stress, no stress. And so at the end of the story, Siddha is preparing her journey to the forest and she is like giving away her valuables. So yeah, that's a summary. I hope everyone understood. But the theme, what theme I learned from this is I think the author is trying to teach that loyalty, loyalty goes a long way. Because we learned that Siddha changes Rama's perspective. At first he's like, oh dude, I, I can't, you can't come with me. I have to do this journey alone. And then Rama, he's like, you know what? You can't come with me. Siddha is like, I'm, I love you. I'm loyal to you. Loyalty all the way. Trust. And so, loyalty goes a long way. And also, I believe another theme that could come out of this is um, true love comes with loyalty. This is just shows how much she loves him. I'll put screenshots behind me or next to me of textual evidence. Here's some uh, textual evidence of the theme. So first, I said that the husband alone is in her all. If thou today depart from the forest, I will proceed thee on foot, clearing the horns and kusha grass from thy path, O hero. Lankush anger and pride take me with thee without hesitation. This is showing how loyal she is, and she would like pretty much do anything for this man. She'll follow him, and this also can show. This shows that loyalty goes a long way. In that loyalty shows true love as I don't think anyone would do this unless you like really loved them. 
and I I would I have it marked on my computer. It's just not working. But it was from the husband alone or all to hesitation. Also, another example is this one right here. I have this one company. I advise thee not to accompany, but now seeing that it fixed resolve, I decided to take thee with me. This is um Rama saying that he he wasn't gonna take her at first, but now seeing like how much how loyal he, she is to him. He thinks that he should take her and lo see loyalty goes a long way. And so, yeah, um, compared to the Odyssey, Odyssey had a lot of themes. I think it could, depends on how you look at loyalty, it could be a childhood lesson because if you're like, oh, loyalty goes a long way, well, then yeah, everyone needs to know that. But if it's like true love, that's deep, man. Only those would be messed up. Yeah. True values. Okay, I'm gonna have to go crazy. So one culture value we learn is that they treat strangers as friends. This is similar to Odyssey and how the ancient Greeks do this. Um, also, the kings have multiple wives. And um, also, they honor people's wishes. They love to honor people's wishes. That's tell you that. They listen to adults, listen to their f uh, parents. That's one. If someone shows them respect, they'll show them the same kind of honor. That's a cultural value. Um, uh, cultural value, I guess. The role of women play in society. Uh, the um, women play in society. It's like they're supposed to just be for, by there by the husband, support the husband, and like you know, take care of the husband, be like another part of him. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And pineapple apple. Open pineapple man. Hey, pineapple, apple, pan. Yeah. Okay. And so that's a cultural value. They, well, we learned that their religion is Hinduism because they believe in Brahma and they believe in Dharma. Another cultural value is, yes, listen to the parents. So we learned many cultural values through this story, which is, I like because I don't really have great knowledge of India. So I'd recommend it just to learn more about India. So here are some examples of cultural values. We see that it says other mothers, my other mothers, which implies that the king has multiple wives, which is a cultural value. And we also see that an example of cultural value in the text that says, like my own mother, don't want to butcher the name. They have also cherished me. Therefore, I deem them worthy of the same honor. So people who respect them, they respect back. That's a cultural value. Um, as it says, receive it receives even strangers as friends that means they honor their guests that's a cultural value this is how they viewed women they they basically mean that women are a part of men that's a cultural value the happiness of women depends on her husband that's a cultural value obey the instructions injunctions of my father oh devil is the duty of a son to obey his parents i cannot endure my life if i observe my father's commands this is a cultural value because it shows that they listen to the parents or else they will be punished if they do not. Dharma is Hinduism. They, so they believe in Hinduism. It's not really a cultural value. It's just a religion they believe in. And then Brahma, so Hinduism again. And obey parents again, we see is a cultural value through this is eternal righteousness to obey command of the parents fixed in the practice of truth. Characterization. Discuss the main characters. The main character is Rama. He's 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 you, a good man. You already talk. He changes through the story because um at first he doesn't want to let his wife go. He's like, you know what? She provided a solid army. He was like, yeah, let's do it. So he changes. Uh, any flaws that I notice? I I think he could be persuaded too easily, and like he listens to people too easily. I think. Um, that's a big thing because if eventually down the story, maybe like an evil villain comes by and they like persuade him or something bad happens. Um, Rita, she is very loyal. That's, oh, sheesh. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Sheesh. It's crazy. And, um, we learned that God, the king, he's, he's goofy. That's character trait. Mm -hmm. So evidence will be provided. Yes. One characterization uh, Rama showed was that he he followed directions and he was an honorable man. 
as um, we can see here, oh, by, to obey my the injunctions of my father, Odevi, is, it is the duty of a son to obey his parents, can I enter his life, uh, if, I, I, if I fail to observe my father's command. There's no textual evidence of um, Rama being like smart, but I'm just assuming since he's an epic hero, he's going to be smart. And also, I believe he's going to easily persuade in this because um, of how his mind changed. Where, like, I advise you not to accompany, but now seeing the fixed resolve, I just hired to take with me. This either means he's like intelligent, like, he, he knows she should come with him, or like he's he feels sympathy for her and stuff, or like he's persuaded easily. And, um, oh, how Sita shows her character traits is, um, she shows that she's very loyal and like she very caring. She says, I will proceed the thy, thee on foot, clearing the thorns and kusha grass from my path. Very sharp stuff. So I don't, this was very early, so I'm not sure if they had shoes. So that's very painful. She's willing to do it for him because she, she's very loving. And, oh, hero. And she's like very loyal. So yeah, uh, there's no character trait for the, the father. Just thought I should call him goofy. One thing I noticed similar about these is like loyalty and like the relate the main couples. Yeah, because Penelope and Odysseus' relationship, they haven't seen each other for 20 years. 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 20 okay. Um, but Penelope still loves Odysseus. Odysseus. Uh, Odysseus. But she can never be without him. She she can never be with anyone else. I just that's a lot. And then Rita and Rama, man, they're just like Sita. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. I meant to say Sita, but yeah, she's very loyal. Their relationship is loyal. Like she said, she couldn't be without him for even like an hour, dude. That is so loyal. I love it. Also notice that like. Um, well, we haven't really mer learned much about Rama, but he seems like a respectful, honorable guy. You know, this is, is that way, except for the fact that, like, he's, like, he's a little arrogant, but, but this is a genius, so he gets to be. I would love to learn more about Rama, but he seems pretty smart. And, um, if you're gonna fight some demons, which we learned because of the background info. Shout out my homies at um, Ancient EU. Yeah, those guys are cool. Guys, Ancient EU, thank you for hooking me up with some information um, but editor jack here again i forgot to mention like a difference between the two uh the odyssey and the ramayana is that um in the odyssey we meet the love interest a lot quick uh a lot later than we did in the ramayana when we learned her like right away and also a difference is that um where like each of them's from and see we see that through the cultural values I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope it wasn't boring. Uh, I really struggled a lot. And I hope you understand. It's not making excuses. But this has been your host, Jack Culberson. Thank you. Thank you.